So welcome everybody to Hot Date with ACP. And today my guests are, I got, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Uh, I have Grace Douglas here. Hi, Grace. Hi. <laughs> and I have Christine McCarty here. Two beautiful Hello. ladies in the house who have so much information and who are so brilliant with Access Consciousness Publishing. And today we have a really phenomenal topic because I have no idea about it. So I'm looking forward what you, what information can you both share with us. And our topic today is how to launch a book online. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow. <laughs> Who would like to go first? I, I can start. I think that, um, you know, we've been learning different things about our business, uh, especially during shelter in place and stuff. And we've primarily just really focused on doing in-person book launches. And so now we've shifted and been doing Zoom or Instagram based book launches, which actually in a lot of ways reach a lot more people. So we've, we've seen good things come about, um, from doing things a little bit different. So I think as an author, you start to think about your business now being more, um, whatever, internet based at this point. And so you're, you're reaching people through like different platforms online now. So it's been really interesting and it's been fun. I think um, it can be a little bit more active, interactive for people that are all around the world. So that's, that's what we're encouraging people to do is to just not wait, go ahead and launch your book online, like do an Instagram live and let people join you and ask questions and you still have the same experience. You're just not technically in person. So that's been really fun. I like that. Grace? Yeah. <laughs> I think Christine summed it up pretty well. Um, Shannon O'Hara, one of our authors that you talked to recently, she did it um, from Brazil and it was all around the world. She did a Zoom. It was really fun because people um, were able to kind of have a, com a personal conversation with her about her book and she got to really talk about her process and the reason she wrote it and stuff that exactly what we do at a book launch just like this. I actually like that one a lot because I was on that the uh, from Shannon the online and so many people were coming on because everyone is just excited a new book is coming out right so yeah. and to meet the author and the story behind the book and what I really loved about that book launch is what you said Grace is that everyone was able to unmute themselves on zoom and ask questions so it already created a completely different energy and I had not to go to a special place so the whole world was suddenly in two minutes connected exactly about, so why not using this and i think there's more info so we have zoom you said instagram videos we have facebook we have youtube all this so is there a way how how mm, to coordinate that right is it about different videos or is it mm, is it do I do one video and then put it out everywhere or what what is your suggestion on that I would say do different things you can um, of course record your zoom and then post it on Facebook or things like that but I think that it's great to have little smaller snippets and do different things for different platforms so Instagram I think shorter is always better with stuff like that. So you do something quick and simple, introducing your book, introducing yourself. Um, I don't know, Christine, if you have any other ideas, but YouTube, you can go longer, you can fast forward and rewind. So there's more options with that. I think there's also certain platforms personally you feel more comfortable on. Yeah. So I would choose whatever it is you feel most comfortable on because then that seems more authentic and it's not like I'm nervous, you know. So I, um, I was on a book launch that Alice Waters and her daughter did together and they just sat in their house and had a conversation with people and it was really nice. And people got to ask questions and it felt really personal 
And also like, it didn't really honestly feel any different than if I had driven somewhere and was sitting in a bookstore, it was actually really nice because it was, you get an entree into people's lives at home too, right. that I think also is different. So I think it's, you know, it's a really what nice What arm did they use for that? They sold tickets. So they did like an Eventbrite and they sold like, I think they were $75 and it was through a local bookstore. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So you can do that as well. Like you can sell tickets and, you know, go around and around the country basically. But she did say that actually the, the virtual book launch was more work than actually traveling around, <clears throat> excuse me, which I was kind of surprised to hear, but. I think yeah. it's, a, there's, it's a lot of work to be in front of an audience on like online. <laughs> Also, it's very different than having like people in front of you and being able to connect with them. And it's yeah. a different way of connecting. So I, I hear almost people saying, is there like a little list that you can give us like uh, things to do, things maybe not to do, or uh, for example, one thing that pops up for me right now, if I do an online book launch on, on Zoom, uh, to let people register somewhere that you have the email address of them and then you can send out even the recordings so you can reach even more people for example so do you have some more hints like what people can look at <laughs> no I think you just said them you know to just use your your database and your list of of clients perspectives or whatever to your advantage and just you know get as many people on as you can. And people still, I tell people this all the time, but you know, books are so, so sold so much just word of mouth, like over 75% still. So if you just do one thing and one person talks to somebody, I mean, that's how your book gets sold and things get, you know, marketed really by you just talking about what you're doing. So, you know, people will find you. It's, it's really great. And now that we talk about ACP books and Access Consciousness Publishing, I would also suggest like use the tools. What is fun for you? What is light for you? And also the next question that comes up, are you willing to be different? Yeah, mm -hmm. as different yeah. as you can be. And also, sorry, I'm just like having all these ideas suddenly. <laughs> like ask your book how it would like to be launched, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Wow, thank you so much. Is there anything else or? No. I think, I think if everyone has more, um, uh, requires more info or would like to know more, just contact us and we're all happy to help. Christine and Grace, they're fabulous, fabulous in this. And thank you all for watching and thank you, Christine, and thank you, Grace, for being thank on. You. Bye. 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 Thank you.